Hey there! Welcome to my channel again. You know, I really love creating tutorials here on YouTube. It's just fun to teach people whatever knowledge I have. Just out of the box, I, I, I enjoy putting these tutorials out on YouTube without even uh, expecting anything in return. So, you guys are amazing and are actually giving me stuff in return. You're subscribing to the channel, you are liking videos, and you are commenting. And the comments are, are not only just heartwarming because I get to hear that I made a very nice tutorial and I helped them, but I also get questions back from you guys. And that means that I can create more tutorials. So in this video I want to reply on such a question that I received from Jared. Here's the question. A question. Jared writes, Hi Steven, would you make a tutorial how to view your web page for live preview development? I've installed the Confusion development server locally and I have .cfm files, but I cannot figure out how to view the web pages in the browser. Thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you very much for your time, Jared, for asking this question. And now I can make a whole video dedicated to your question. First of all, why would you want to run your Cold Fusion application locally? Well, there are some good reasons for that. You should not re really run your application that you're testing out remotely on a production server. And if you're working in a company, you would not even be allowed to do that. Simply because they have customers on their web applications and they don't want you to test out something and break the code and this web application will not be running anymore so the customers cannot reach the application anymore, for example. But there's also a chance that you write something malicious that could open up for hackers to access your server in a bad way. You could write bad code that is easily hackable by a hacker. Uh, you could write code, open up the possibility for a hacker to delete your files or get access to your server and passwords or to gain access to your client's passwords or to gain access to the database or delete the entire database. But saying that, you might have noticed that in my Confusion tutorials and when I've been showing the tutorials, I am actually using a production server. Not, not really though, because I see my production server as a development server. I, I simply use it to upload stuff, test stuff, and well, yes, some of it is production. I, I see it as not so critical. If anyone would hack my server, oh well, I have a backup. The place where I do this on is not really a fully great server environment anyway. It's a VPS hosting on linode.com. I'll leave a link below and you can check it out for yourself. You have three options. You have Adobe Cold Fusion, you have Lucy and you have Common Box. So let's start with Adobe. This is Adobe uh, website. They have a lot of information, they have the Enterprise Server, the Stoma Server. And then we go down and we find the Adobe Cold Fusion Developer Edition. Which we can try now. And here they ask you all kinds of questions, they want more information of you, but you could also just click in the full installer, not Windows full installer. I find this funny. You see, before Adobe, Confusion was of Macromedia, and this is still downloading from the Macromedia.com website. It's a 1.2 gigabyte file, so this will take me a few minutes. Let's now try to install it and run a web page. So this is indeed a package of both the actual server, which is why it's 1.5 gigabytes, and the developer edition. So the CF search and CF collection, and you should install that one probably. This is for HTML to PDF, this is for remote starting and stopping the server, this is for 
.NET integration. I am just gonna install the double and on server version. Now I'm gonna choose a directory. I want it in uh, the E drive because it's my big drive. And then there's a port. Well, 00, zero is equipment. My IP address is 2700. It's a lot of fluff of stuff that I don't need. Automatic check for updates. Okay, fair enough. Now I've successfully installed it. Ah, that's where my password comes in. Login. And here is the Cold Vision Developer Edition. So create a new file. We call this um, test.c then for now. For example, we could copy this code that displays the date and the current day. And this file we will copy to the Confusion server. If you run into the problem that you cannot find your Confusion server, for, for example the next day, then you can go to services and you'll find Confusion there in the list. And if it, the service has not been started, you can start the service again and then your Confusion server will work again. And then we go to the browser and if we remove the administrator line from disk and then add test.cfm and the page works. The other option you have is Lucy. Lucy came actually from another project that was started before that, which was Rilo. With Rilo and now Lucy, you can run a Confusion website for free. Well, for free. <laughs> Um, you need still a host right <laughs> or, or your local PC but but you don't need to buy a license for a confusion no Lucy comes with as they say on the website a lot of code examples and documentation so there's a lot to find there's other forum where you find help and there's plenty of developers online that can help you out we go to the download space and here you see the, the latest score and now I'm recording this in October uh, 2021 so now it's now it's 5.3.8.206 which is the last release production and as it is probably coming out like really recently they don't have the installers available yet so you could go one version back right now and then you will see that there is a Windows and Linux installer available Though for our purpose of installing it locally, we can install the Express Edition. The Express Edition does not really install, it just does a zip, you unzip, and you can run it right from the get-go. This is only a 76.9 MB file, so it takes me only a couple of seconds. Here's my downloaded file, I will um, extract this file. So Lucy Express comes with uh, a bunch of things built in. It has a web apps directory, which is probably the place where your confusion pages go. Yes, lots of stuff here. And it comes with Tomcat as a web server. So as soon as you start this application, it will start a web server and it will start Lucy server. And you will be able to reach your server from the browser on the local host. Lucy requires a, a Java uh, runtime environment installed. So if you don't have it installed yet, you can go ahead to java.com and they have these available. Localhost double dot eight 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 eight. So as you can see here, it's running on HTTP, so it's going to give you some warning most likely about it being not secure because it's not running on SSL. And then you see here, Welcome to your Lucy 5 installation. You're now successfully running Lucy on your system. We will now copy our test file to the Lucy directory. Slash and on test.cfm and it should load up our current uh, code. Next up is order solutions common box command line interface. Or common box in short. Common box is a standalone native tool for Windows, Mac and Linux that will provide you with a common line interface for developer productivity, tool interaction, package management, embedded CML server, application scaffolding and some sweet ASCII art. Fun, fun stuff. 
Uh, pretty simple stuff. You can just download this uh, command box from the download options. I am running Windows, so I'm going to run uh, Windows binary. Of course, here once again, it runs on yeah, the uh, runtime environment. If you do not have it installed, then you should install one of these. Probably a 64-bit Windows yeah, uh, GMV. Um, I have it installed because I play Minecraft <laughs> and because I run the servers a lot. So I just choose this one. So we extract the zip file and we end up with box.exe inside of it. We run it and we can file an error from Windows. <laughs> it's typical. Right? You get this thing and you believe that this is a safe app and I believe it's a safe app. You click on more info and you will get the options to actually run it anyway. Common box actually all of the commands that you put into common box are running on confusion itself. And one of the powers of common box is that you can actually run code right inside common box itself. So you can type here Apple and now you have a little editor where you can just put in some codes, like for example to output the date now enter and I will see the output of that. Similarly, date format, now, function, in what format, I want to have only the day of that one. This will output Sunday, because today is Sunday. Oh yeah, I will type quit here to exit and I go back to the interactive command box line. Um, as I put this into the website confusion tutorials misc directory, I can also type start and it will start a server with the current directory as being the root. Now I can go to the web browser and load this website. Ultimately, my browser was opening a new tab with the website of the current place where my box.exe uh, was staying and the test.cfm so I can click now on the test.cfm and it will actually load the test.cfm file here in the browser and as you see again it works out of the box super easy common box is probably the easiest way to run your confusion pages because you could just copy paste the, the box.exe file inside the place where you have your whole application programmed and it will run it right from there and how would you stop it again? I guess you type in stop. It will stop misc. You can also start it at a certain position or let it create all sorts of stuff. So there is a, a way to create a new application. And you can install certain frameworks like Coldbox and create a whole application with Coldbox with a certain uh, name and a certain uh, structure right from the command line. So it is enormously powerful. But to keep it very simple, you can just put the box.exe file inside the directory where you have your codes and run it right away by just typing start. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will post many 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 more questions to my YouTube videos because then I can create way more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!